Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Pokemon Outdoors Guy, our weekend roundup. How is everyone doing today? It's been a great weekend, weather's warming up, and look who made a wrong turn at Houston. We got Josh Taylor back from Texas joining us here in the Lone Fish Studios. How you doing, Josh? Fantastic. It's good to be back. How are you, George? Oh, I'm doing great. You know, just uh, finally getting out and doing some fishing. Actually, Josh and I were out last night doing a little fishing. Josh managed to get me into my new PB walleye, so thank you very much for that. It was a fantastic night. That was a fun night. Just really good to get out. Uh, We got a great show lined up for you guys tonight. Want to talk a little bit about... um, you know, all these guys want to get sponsored. And with the fishing season, um, you know, starting off, I thought we'd talk a little bit about that. We got a couple of great guests to join us to talk about that. But before we get started, I got a few guys to thank. I want to be sure we thank the guys from Tony Majap Products. You know, if you want to get into that 50 pound striper club, check out tonymajapproducts.com. They got all the spoons, the mojos, the outriders, the rods, custom rods, everything you need to get in that 50 pound club. Be sure you check out tonymajaproducts.com. Also, the Fish Rim Magazine. Each week, Jim Hutchison gives you the latest on what's happening for the upcoming weekend. Get all the news you need to get on those big fish. And you might even catch me giving you a little report what's happening right here in the Poconos. So be sure you check out. Uh, June edition is in print right now. Go to thefisherman.com. Pick up a subscription for yourself. $29.95 gets you 38 issues. All the tips, tactics, and tackle you need to make us all better fishermen. So, Josh, what do you think? It's good to be back. It is good to be back. So I want to bring in one of our one of our guests here tonight. We got that Stevie Miser from Rutten River Pursuits. And we want to talk a little about this topic of getting things sponsored. So Stevie, you with hey, us, buddy? Guys. How are you? Oh, we are doing good, bud. How's awesome. yourself? Perfect. How, Perfect. How's all, how are you guys out there at Rutten River Pursuits? You guys have been really killing it. Oh, dude, you know, there's so much going on. This is such an awesome time of the year because we got you know, first, we're getting out of a, a great hunting season where right. guys, guys, the guys just whacked the deer this year. I don't know how many deer we took, but it was a lot. I had a great whitetail season, started getting into the turkey season. That was a little yeah. bit slow uh, for us, but uh, a few of our guys, Brian and Mike, each uh, each took some birds. Yeah, uh, I've seen that. that great. Yeah, yeah, so that was great. Then trout season. I don't want to get started on that because, uh, you know, the, the game commission kind of threw a wrench into it right. you know, for me this year. But, hey, we got out and caught some trout. And uh, now just the, the water's warming up. Stripers are are, 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 uh, are starting That's to right. feed. It's, uh, it's been a great year so far. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think even with all the COVID stuff, I mean, the outdoorsman, I think, you know, a lot of the stuff we do is solo. So the risk yeah. of that contamination, it's a good place to be if you're an outdoorsman. Right. You, you got that right. Yourself. You got that right. So, Stevie, one of the topics we wanted to talk about today was, you know, all these young guys, and I see it every spring you know, when fishing season starts, you know, you see all the posts on Facebook and stuff. This is the year I get sponsored. Yeah. So, I, you know. Everybody's got this idea, you know, these guys, they fish, they walk down to the lake like they're macho man, Randy Savage, (laughs) fish fear me. And, you know, all you got to do is walk up and, you know, you get your trophy and they think all they need to do, you know, is just get that sponsor. And it's, you know, money. They can quit their day job, fish for a living. Uh, you're sponsored as well as we are. Are, Is that Uh, happened for you yet? Not even close. (laughs) (laughs) Not even close. Yeah. So we've, uh, we've been podcasting for, I will be pushing our fifth season. Uh, We'll be starting this fall Uh, and we all still work. And uh, just as much as we did when we started, as I'm sure you guys do. Right. Do as well. Uh, and it, it doesn't get any easier. And I, I've, I've thought about this a lot, you know, lately. And it, I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm not sure. <sighs> I don't know why. The, the, the more we get into it and the further we get, it seems like you have more fun, could have more fun not being sponsored. Than, but that could than, be, yeah. Than being sponsored. Uh, but, no, I, I get it. I understand why guys think, you know, this is – this is what's going to, you know, set me apart. Sure. Uh, this is what's going to make me, you know, uh, give me an edge over everybody else. Uh, but man, it, there is a lot to it. There's a lot more to it than, than just being able to, to put up a grip and grin on Instagram a couple times a week. Uh, exactly. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, we got uh, Jay Batcher from uh, watching on YouTube. How you doing, Jay? Good hey, to Jay. see you. Th- thank you for tuning in. 
Now, that's one of the things we want to talk about, kind of lay out some of the misconceptions of, first of all, being pro staff. Yeah. And I think people think pro staff means professional <laughs> staff, and that's really not the case. Um, I actually went and did some uh, research. A couple of, uh, actually, I had a question for the show earlier this morning from uh, James. He's local to us. He said, What's the difference between a brand ambassador and pro staff? Well, first of all, pro staff is promotional staff, not professional. Just mm-hmm. because you get a sponsor does not mean you're a professional fisherman. You know, like I say, you're not going to quit your day job. There's not a big old paycheck rolling in. I don't know. Does the Brinks truck back up in your driveway every Monday morning, Stevie? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. No, the closest thing to a Brinks truck would be a, uh, you know, the UPS man dropping off some. Uh, you know, some gear that, that <laughs> someone has given us. Uh, or, or Will it, dropping off your rod that he borrowed off. Exactly. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Definitely not the bank, though. No, no. But I thought it was good to kind of go through some of the terms that, you know, people toss around and what the difference is. And one of the things I had a good question from James this morning. He said, you know, what is a brand ambassador? I did a little research today, look at it, and I looked it up on Wikipedia. And it said basically for a brand ambassador, you're hired by an organization to represent a brand in a positive light and increase brand awareness and sales. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like you're being hired by the company. It's not pro staff. It's not a sponsorship so more. So I think that's the differentiation between a brand ambassador and what we talk about as far as pro staff and and being sponsored. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I absolutely would, you know, and, and I I think most of the guys, you know, that, that we talk with and, and most of the guys that I'm familiar with are, are not so much brand ambassadors as they are pro staff. Um, you know, we, we have sponsors, people that support the show financially. Um, but personally, you know, most of us have, or all of us have been on, you know, pro staffs, multiple pro staffs, but man, it's, uh, it's, it's not always, uh, you know, it, it might not always be in someone's best interest. Um, right. And, and we can get into talking about that later if you want. Uh, yeah. But- I think we want to just kind of like, outline. Uh, one of the things we do have is uh, joining us shortly will be my sponsor, Tony Maggio Products. Tony's going to join us to talk a little bit of things about what a, a, what a company would expect from somebody that they bring on pro staff. Yeah. But I think for our discussion here, we want to talk a little bit about what the differences are. And if you want to get into uh, a real pro staff program, how can we get there? So I, I know, I think you guys were doing work for Realtree at one time, right? Or maybe you still do? Uh, with Mossy Oak. Mossy Oak, okay. Uh, yeah, so there was uh, several guys that were on uh, Mossy Oak's pro staff. Uh, there, I think there was seven or eight of us for a while. I was on that. Mossy Oak is a great company. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's been around forever. You know, so it's awesome company. Uh, uh, you know, there, a lot of us were, were part of that group. Um, not so many anymore. Uh, there's, uh, and, and the reason for that it has absolutely nothing to do with with the company and not being a supporter. I mean, I still wear Mossy Oak camouflage uh, and it, it's, it's just, there are certain expectations uh, that, that you yeah, have yeah. to, that you have to live up to even, even as an unpaid, uh, an unpaid pro staff member, uh, there's expectations that, that you have to, you know, you have to live up to. And it's, it's a commitment uh, whether or not you, you you love the product and believe in the company. There's a commitment there that you have to make. Uh, you know there are shows you have to attend. Right. There, you know, there, there's restrictions on what products you can be, uh, what products you can use, or what products you can promote. Uh, so there's some limiting things there, and uh, and a lot of times for pro staff, I mean, there, there is no. And I'm not I'm not aware of any company where a pro staff actually collects a check. Uh, that there may be some out there uh, that, but I, I don't, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know of any, most of the time, you know, pro staff is, you know, free gear, equipment, discounts, things like that. Discount. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So is that really worth, you know, if it, if you're a, uh, you know, a, a, on the pro staff of a, you know, for a camo company, uh, you, is that really what you want? You know, do you, are you okay? limiting yourself to that and right. for some guys they are i mean that and that's awesome and and i you know we were for for quite a long time and, and most there's still some guys in the, in our group that that, that are you know, nothing but awesome things to say about you know about mossy oak but 
you know, sure. it's, it's not, again, it's not, it's not for everyone. Right. And I think that's one of the things they say here in this uh, little snippet I took from their website is, uh, and this is re re it pertaining to hunters, but I think it applies to anything with fishing. It says, plenty of hunters dream of joining a company's pro staff with the belief that they'll get to hunt for a living, be paid big bucks, and receive a closet full of free gear. <laughs> and that is just not what it is, you know? No, no. Uh, another another uh, clip I had, this is from BD Outdoors. I took this off their website. You know, sponsorship, all it really does is give you the opportunity to get free or discounted products in exchange for promoting the company's products. And they even have a note there. It says, to be honest, if you make more than 10 bucks an hour, you're probably off better better off forgetting about the sponsorship <laughs> and buying the tackle yourself. <laughs> but but let's, let's yeah. face it, you know, I mean, if guys like us, we're, we're in the business, we, we'd love it. We know you, you have your podcast and you guys are probably one of the best ones out there. Uh, oh, great you. outdoorsman. And this is what we live for. You know, you love going to the shows. I, I, I live at the shows. That's my favorite time of year is show mm -hmm. season, you know, but if, if that's not your thing, if, like I said, if you think you're just going to um, sign up, be a, be a pro staffer and that, that truck full of money is backing in your driveway every money, every Monday, you got, you got better rethink what you're doing here. And the other thing, the other thing is, is nobody's going to sign you up just on your word, even as a pro staffer, you know, you have to have already developed a, uh, you know, even a, a small online presence. So you have to have that, that legwork already done. You know, they, right. they're not gonna, they're not just going to take your word for it. Even if it is just discounts and gear, that sort of thing, uh, you, you've got to put the work into it first. Yeah. And I, I think that's one of the, the misconceptions when you, when you get into this, you're starting to get into the business end of fishing yeah. and not, not many of the people that just run down the lake on weekends understand that side of the business. Yeah. It, you know, the, the biggest thing that, that discourages me, you bring up the, the business end of it is regarding his pro staffs is when I go out to fish or to hunt or, or do anything outdoors, I have an extremely hard time focusing on anything else other than, the activity yeah, so if, right. I'm, if i'm bass fishing i'm there to bass fish not to not to film it not to take pictures not to document i have a difficult time with that and that's you know that's a, a big reason why i you know nowadays i've kind of shy away from uh from, from a lot of that you know the the pro staff things because it's just tough for me to to <laughs> to, to be able to do that sure that end of it. yeah well, a lot of the times the activity, whether it's fishing or hunting, almost has to take a back seat to Absolutely. the to the commitment. Yeah. 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 And there can be so much involved in it. I mean, George, you and I, we've done TV segments, we've done shows. I mean, that's a ton of commitment, especially if all you're going to get is a discount at the end of the day. Right. Right. So, I mean, it, you just got to weigh it up. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. But there are, there are some positives to it too. So, I mean, I don't want to make it sound like, you know, it, yeah, if, if you're, yeah. you know, your goal is to be sponsored or be on someone's pro staff that it's, you know, it's actually terrible. Um, like, like I said, I love show season. So, you know, Tony's one of my sponsors and I love nothing more than Tony saying, Hey, we're doing Edison, you know, in two weeks, are you down to come down? I'm there, you know, yeah. I love setting up. I love talking to people. I, it just, that environment is my home. That's such an important clarification, right? Like if you're, when you're with a, helping a friend and a product you believe in, I mean, I think there's, you know, there's no. Yeah. I think that's what yeah. you would do to help. Yeah, yeah. It's if you're just looking for somebody's name to wear on your shirt or something like that, you're, you're just a mercenary. Let, let's be honest about it, you know, but if you got a product that you've been using for years, you love it. Uh, when you're out to fish, that's the first lure you grab in your tackle box and you just want to work with that company. Now you're starting to develop that relationship, which I think is really important. That even when, before you enter the pro staff program, because let, let's face it, I mean, how do you get in there? Okay. I want to be a pro staffer. How do you go about, you know, getting into a pro staff program? Yeah, boy, you guys hit the nail on the head with that, you know, getting the product that you believe in. Uh, that is absolutely you know, number one, and there's, you know, not everybody's going to be on, you know, the Yamamoto pro staff or the Shimano pro staff, you know, there's the, I think, you know, sometimes you may set our sights too high. There, there sure. are a ton of, uh, there are a ton of, you know, local tackle companies and, and, 
and you know equipment companies that do make awesome products. Now we talk to so many guys that are just in, in in Pennsylvania. You wouldn't think that there's a different way to make a rubber worm, but right. there is a lot of different ways to do it. And a lot of these, you know, local guys are are doing just that, and they're looking for people to to help them out, right? Uh, and, you know, and to be on, you know, to be part of their part of their team and finding one of them that you can you that you really support you really believe in their product that you would use their product regardless of whether you're on their pro staff or not that's right yeah. uh, really is uh that i think is where people people really where you really want to be where you really need to be yeah it doesn't have to be berkeley or you know or you know whatever but ranger boats i mean you're yeah. not going to get a seventy thousand dollar boat in your driveway because now you're a pro staffer right you know? right yeah but uh I think that that's a good point you brought up. Start small. I mean, even if it's a local guy, small Pennsylvania, they, they make great products for one. But second of all, that's your your, your door opening for you. you mm -hmm. gotta, you're not going to walk into Berkeley in your first thing and say, I want to be your pro staff and I'm going to jump all over you. It's just not going to happen. Unless your last name's Van Damme. Maybe then, <laughs> it would, you know. Yeah. yeah, and if you look at guys like, even like Kevin Van Dam, you look at his jersey. There's more than one company on there, right? And he's the best <laughs> bass fisherman, arguably of of all time. At least you know the best tournament bass fisherman of all time, and he's got a lot of sponsors. You know, sure. To, uh, so there's, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a lot to it. it. There really is. But if if you wanted, I mean, I think like like we were saying, the easiest way is get with somebody local, maybe somebody smaller that's really looking for someone to help them out promote their products, you know, get that social media presence where you can really promote them. But when you start getting into bigger companies, you know, how would you even approach that? And one of the ways I found is, um, you, you know, go on any of your, your products website, they usually have a pro staff uh, tab that you can go on their website and look and they'll show you who their pro staff is. And you can actually, you know, request or submit yourself to be a pro staffer. But one of the things you got to, you have to do, and I've seen this myself, you need to fill out a resume. Yeah. It isn't just like, hey, look at my Instagram. I'm great. And it is a resume. It is a yeah. serious resume you got to fill out. Yeah. And that's when it hits home that you realize you are now in the business world. You're not just the guy out there, that superstar hitting that lake. You're entering the business world and you are entering into their sales and marketing team is basically what you're doing. I mean, you're signing, I won't mention any names, but like contracts get signed. Yeah. And well, we did that with uh, one of our sponsors exactly. and there was a contract. And yeah. So it's, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, you're right. You know, we've done it before, you know, where there's, you know, you're, you're sending pictures, you're sending essentially resumes and you're, it's back and forth. You're essentially interviewing for a job. Uh, and it, it's exactly what it is. And they don't, and you, I don't think people may not understand you know, that you're, you're going to be the face of that company uh, right. in some respects. And so they're not just going to, you know, they're not going to let, they're not going to do it without, you know, some kind of a, essentially a background check on you. Right. Exactly. Uh, by the way, Stevie Davis says, hi, our buddy Steven out there. Hey, how's it going? What's up, Steve? <laughs> What's that? Your buddy Pele, I think you call him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've been, man, I've known him. I don't know how long, 30 years, something like that. Yeah. So, hey, Patrick Carey joined us. Hey, Patrick, thank you very much. He said it's a job interview, and you're absolutely right. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. And again, this is a job interview for something you're not getting paid. You're getting uh, some discounted tackle, maybe some, uh, you know, some swag, some mm -hmm. shirts, maybe some hats, you know, but it's, um, if, if that's the badge you want to wear that I'm, uh, you know, one of pro staff, there's going to be some work involved. In my opinion, the most valuable thing, someone in a pro staff position can get is not the discount, but if that company promotes them as well. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And I think a lot of the time there's not, you just have to evaluate what you think is fair in sure. that aspect and go from there. Sure. I, mean, yeah. I think that's way more valuable than any discount. Oh, I, I agree. Yeah. And I, well, you know, talking about that, um, Guess who I got on the show? I got Tony Maja just uh, signed in. I'm going to bring him in here, guys. No way. And we can, yeah, we got Tony on board. Hey, doing, Tony? Tony, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Tony, Tony, don't come to Jersey. The traffic is terrible. <laughs> terrible. I keep it in mind. Well, I'm really glad you made it. You came in at a perfect time, Tony, because we were talking about you know pro staffing, and and you know how to get into that, 
and I, I know people bug you all the time to be on your pro staff program, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are, what are they kind of asking you when they join a pro staff program? What are they, what exactly are they looking to do? Well, you know what it is? A lot of people like the, um, listen, a lot of people use my stuff, especially charter captains, um, charter captains. Most of them, you know, I, I vet a lot of them. They have to be, uh, they have to be of a certain magnitude of, of, a, of a captain. A lot of new guys, I, I look for different things than my father did. My father was, wasn't a big person with social media and stuff. Um, to me, I think that's big, a big part of the future is social media. Um, it could hurt you in a day. It could help you in a day. So uh, as long as they have a lot of, it doesn't even mean followers here to say. I mean, the, the followers isn't a big thing because that comes in time. I mean, it took me a long time. It took me three years to get over 6,000 followers. It's a long it's a long trip to get there, but um, it's basically the pro staff is as somebody that's it's supposed to be a give and take. They get a, a special price for certain products, and they're supposed to promote my products, right? And they're supposed to not promote other products of of, of the same. You know, they they're supposed to be on your pro staff, so they're supposed yeah. to be. You know, it's it's a it's a tricky tricky situation, it really is, but um. It definitely helps a lot. I mean, I have a lot of big charter captains around here that are on my pro staff and they're, they're, they're promoters of my product. And that helps a tremendous amount. There's only so much you could do as a single person. I mean, right. you need help out there. And you guys do a lot for me as well. Oh, thank you, Tony. Well, it's, you it's, and Rotten River guys, I mean, you guys do a ton. And even yeah. Josh over there, who's back from Texas. What's up, Josh? Right. Finally, <laughs> finally back. We forgot what he looked like. Yeah. Are, you a, are you a roughneck out there? Oh, yeah. Uh, Just on the oil. I'm just doing one of those oil things. Those big oil rigs. No, no oil rigs for me. Uh, we got we got to see if we can get Josh to get one of those 200 pound alligator gar and a Maja spoon. Oh, I think that's <laughs> gonna be. The truth. Yeah, seriously. I mean, I'll fly down to Texas. Right? <laughs> we got to get everyone together, come down and do that. That would be great. Yeah, I know. Those alligator. I heard they're unbelievable to eat too, right? I've heard that. I've never tried one. Really? I hear gar are good to eat. Yeah, I, mean, I, I heard that on on like you know on. Real redneck TV show, so I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They eat a lot down there. I don't know about all of it. <laughs> really cardboard, cardboard and all. So probably the Turtle Man too was telling you that, you know. <laughs> probably. probably. <laughs> yeah, but Tony, we, we missed that. Uh, you missed part of the show. I'm sorry you got tied up in traffic, but thank right, you again right, for joining right, us. Right. It's always good to hear. Than, so. Yeah, um, but that, like we were saying, you know, people are always bugging you. What's your what's your selection process when you say? All right, I want you and my pro staff. I mean, what, what's because we were just talking. You got to fill out a freaking resume to, to even get on half of these. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot. I, I I'm doing. My father just basically did a like a handshake back in the day. That was you know you you do this, mm -hmm. you promote my product. They give you a special price on the product. We work as a team. That goes out the window pretty quick with a lot of people. It really does. I mean, you know, I'm not saying that they're uh, that it's not. I'm going to actually make a, a legitimate, um, what do they call that? Like a, a basically like a contract. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm actually drawing it up now. I mean, it's not going to be signed by lawyers and stuff, but you know, it's good. It's going to give me the rights to use their pictures that they exactly. send me. Mm -hmm. because in this day and age, people sue you for anything. Right. I mean, it's, I think it's a different world out there now. It really is. Before we get too too carried away, John Augustine joined us. Thank you, John, for for tuning in. And he's got a, a question. Well, he says, uh, "Hey, Steve, and all the R two guys, what's up, Josh and George?" He says, "Pro staffing is too much like work. I love the food <laughs> and the fish, and enjoy the outdoors. However, I love to uh, watching all the pro staffers and help promote the products he loves. And, and that's exactly what you're talking about. You, you got to love the product." before mm -hmm. you join a pro staffer. I mean, yeah, yeah. If, if you're going to be a mercenary, you're not going to do yourself any good and you're not going to do the company you're trying to represent any good either. If you don't really love that product. So it's just guys that, that, you know, they fly to the newest thing out. Like they'll say, Oh, this guy's new. Let me jump to his stuff. Every right. year, there's guys that do that. They jump ship. But when they come back to me, which they always do, right. they don't get that. that's it. You know, wow. you get one shot with me. And, and listen, I have people with, we have, I think I have like 60 or 70, you know, charter boats as my pro staff, that's not going to be for long. Right. I don't want to sound like a hard nose, like a tough guy, but there's certain guys and you know, it's not, it's not their fault. They just either, they don't fish a lot, you know, or they, they, they don't, you know, they don't have phones, maybe they have flip phones still. I don't know. 
Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, they, listen, fishermen are old salt. There's some people out there that do not have, you know, they, they still, you know, they still walk around with those big telephones as big. So. Right. Hey, yeah, uh, Tony, while we got you there, we got a question here from Nick Langford. Nick, thank you for joining us. He said, do any of those spoons work? In freshwater striper, I think oh, that's a whole nother show for you to talk about. But why don't you go and touch on that real quick? I will touch on it quick. Yeah, I'll get. It. Um, we have guys out, and uh, well, George and I did it. We we did it a couple times. We're gonna do it again. Um, guys in Texaco on the lake that throw the number ones and number twos spoons, the small spoons, and they catch the hybrids, and they also catch landlocks. I don't know if there's landlocks in that lake per se, but I know there's other lakes out there. Mm -hmm. that they do. Yeah. Yep. They definitely do. On downriggers, if it's a deep lake, you use downriggers. If not, they could do it the way we do it, same way. Right, right. Nick, I hope that answers your question. Um, we're going to have some videos coming out later this year um, with Tony, and we're going to catch him. Maybe we'll get Stevie out on that, too. Get oh, you better. That'd be fun. <laughs> Go better. catch a mess of stripers. <laughs> Stevie, had, we had a lot of fun with Stevie. It's always fun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We sure did. But quickly, getting back to our topic, um, I think one of the things that can help, if, if again, if you're trying to get into a pro staff program, I think it's good to establish expectations on both sides right up front. Yeah. I mean, you go into a, a I think when we, we first started getting sponsored, you know, we had the same idea. Hey, when do the checks start rolling in? Yeah, seriously. You know? yeah. <laughs> and it's like, okay, there's that ain't happening. What, what Don't do we expect do to check in the mail from anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think it's a hard thing, especially, I mean, like, I know Bass Pro, none of these guys pay these big names. They, they give them, you know, 10% off. Right. Yeah. Give them a lot more than 10% off on my yeah. stuff. Right. You know, I mean, they get a good deal on my stuff and they use it. It's not like they just have it because they, they want it. They, they use it. I mean, it, it works. It's worked for 15, 20 years and nobody's knocked us off the pedestal. So right. I mean, I that for my father. I mean, you know, I could I could say it till I'm blue in the face. My father's he's 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 a king. He's right. Like I'll be in the shadow forever, but I don't mind. It's a good shout out to be in. So. <laughs> sure, right. sure. Big yeah. shoes to fill. It but it, but again, like you know, you as a company, when you when you're signing somebody on, there, there's certainly expectations you have. What do you want these pro staffers to do? Like I said, it's not just use it. You you got to have some feedback. It's a business. You're yeah. investing in this person, so establish what it is that you as an angler want from the pro staff program, and find out what the sponsor is looking for from you. And right. if you guys don't establish that right up front, you're both going to be disappointed. They're both wrong. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. I'm wrong and they're wrong. Yeah, without a doubt. Exactly. Be, you're right, and it has to be laid out. That's why I'm drawing up a piece of paper that they have to fill out or just sign. And it's not to a, a real written contract, but at least it says everything like you're saying, so I don't forget, because I will forget. Right. Yeah, I forget everything. I might as well write it down on a piece of paper. But that's, uh, that's definitely the best idea. You're right. If it's not up front, it's not – you're both not viable in, in an argument, so it doesn't matter. Sure, but you're establishing, you know, expectations. Let's say, right. you know, as as you enter this agreement, have you seen that, Stevie, with some of the things that you guys and the R two guys have got into? Same absolutely, thing? absolutely. You know, it's multiple page long contracts of yeah. Here's here's what you're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We can use your pictures forever. We can use your videos forever. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah uh, I, don't like, I mean, listen, I don't ask that, but I just ask for them to. At least give me the opportunity to use it. If they, everybody sends me pictures, automatically I think in my head they want me to use it. I mean, they want me to either put it on my website or, or do it on social media. But in this day and age, you need something written that says I have yeah. to use that. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a different world. I mean, it used to be handshakes for everything. Not anymore. No. Those days are unfortunate, but. Well, that's the same thing. Uh, you know, I do my reports with the magazine. You know, if there's somebody who's got a nice fish that I want to highlight in, in the report, I be sure I get permission to use that mm -hmm. before I go ahead and put that in my report because yeah. Yeah. it's only it's respectful to the angler as well. And they may not want it there for some reason. I've never had anybody they, say they no. Might, but... The wife may not know that they went fishing. That happened a few times. Not, not to me, but you know. <laughs> I'm fishing, my wife knows I'm fishing. Too, no yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> She's not listening right now. <laughs> so I don't know. Is it do we answer your guys uh, your your questions on, on getting a sponsor or if you want to get into that end of the business? Uh like I said, it's um it, it's not terrible. I know we kind of made it sound a little bit rough, and but I think it defeats some of the initial expectations of you know, just piles of money, fast cars, fast women, and, and it's not the way it's, it's just not for everyone. If if yeah. you love fishing, that doesn't necessarily mean 
you're going to be a good fit for us. Oh, shit. With that, you, you, can, you can be a manufacturer. You don't see the women, the money. You don't see that stuff. Really, really. <laughs> it doesn't happen anywhere. Trust me. We're so, in the wrong business. What's up, Stevie? The, the one thing we, we we would be good, I think, to mention, too, in addition to getting the products, is you, being on a process does give you some access to people that, yeah, uh, you probably wouldn't have access to otherwise. With you know guys like Tony, you know how, how would you know if you're you're buying a, a Maja spoon online? I'm sure he, he's available, uh, you know, to answer questions and help with that. But you on his pro staff, you, know, you have you know direct access in, in some ways to him uh, in in his network. So that is a that's another uh, sort of another advantage in my mind to 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 be in there. In right. Yeah, they ask me, you know, they ask me, people they ask me with spiders every day. I get text yeah. messages, emails. But people yeah. tell me they do. They tell me where they catch the fish. I mean, I don't know if they don't feel threatened by me because I'm never fishing anymore because I'm always busy. <laughs> you're, you're making deliveries, right? I get, yeah. I get listen. I get a lot of information, but that doesn't mean anybody could email me. So don't email. Me. <laughs> <laughs> my email is George. What's your email? Uh, I'll give you my <laughs> email in a second. <laughs> But that's that's hey uh, Stevie, that is a great point. And one of the other, uh, like you're saying, accessibility. But sometimes in a pro staff program, you also get to see some of the the lures or products that aren't on the market yet. You get to right. see some of the R and D that, uh, like Tony, came out with those casting mojos last year, and I had a chance to, to actually work with them mm-hmm. before they came on the market, and they just blew me away. And uh, I love those things; I really do. Yeah. Yeah, a few times we've got to play with some stuff that's not out yet. Yeah, even some high dollar stuff. Yeah, um, I mean, I'll throw a name out there. We got to work with Deeper a couple times there, and they had their new chirp sonar come out, and we got to play with that six months before it hit the market. I mean, yeah, that was that was great. Yeah, and we got to play with it, and you get some feedback, and it, it's good when you can partner with a company and they want your suggestions, and it's not just you know right. here's a product, push it, but how do we make it better? What's your feedback? What can I change? And you make a better product for the for the guys on the water. Yeah, I have a lot of pro staff that does that. They give me, they give me. Listen, I think you should do this. I'm not saying I take all of their their stuff into into consideration. Some stuff is good, some stuff isn't. Just like me, I make stuff that you know I test it out. It didn't work out, but you know, some people have ideas, and you know, I, I a lot of colors. Like everything's always colors to me. You know, like we, I spoke with you. I spoke with Steve when we did our show. I mean, colors catch fishermen. I mean, there are certain right. colors yeah. catch fish at different days, but you don't need 50 colors. My father right. had four colors. He had white, chartreuse, green, and multi, and chrome, always chrome. So there's five colors. But after that, he goes, you don't need any more. Right. We did test the waters, and we found a couple other colors that worked just as good, if not better. So we're gonna, like I said, we're going to come out with that in the fall. So, Okay, cool. It's, hey, yeah. You're right. Though. Feedback is huge on both sides. Mm-hmm. Tony, we've got a couple of questions real quick. Um, we're, we're kind of getting low on time, but a uh, couple of questions on where do we get your spoons? Why don't you throw a, a quick out there where folks can get your stuff? Um, they get it on, on if you look online at uh, Bass Pro Shops, Tackle Direct online. Um, also, they could go to any local tackle store, any, any Bass Pro Shop, any Dick Sporting Goods in New Jersey, New York, and I think some in Pennsylvania, I'm not really sure. Um, they're pretty much everywhere. And if they don't have it, if you can't find it in the store, you can get it on my website. I don't like to promote it, but my website, Tony Major Products at Gmail. I mean, Tony Major Products dot com. Yep. yep, that's a last resort. It's a little more money on mine, um, so you probably get a better deal on the other websites. So you know, but that's if they great. don't, if somebody's out of them, you could always get it from my site. So perfect. Any uh, any closing thoughts on uh, on folks that want to get you know be on a pro staff program or get sponsored? Is there anything else we think we want to pass on to these young folks uh, looking to get into the business? I mean, I can say, Steve, I'm sure you have a couple things. I mean, just be, you know, pay, don't just jump out and say I want to be a pro staff. This guy, think of it before you do because you want to yeah. be sure. You don't want to yeah. have to jump ship because if you get known to that guy that jumps from product to product, you lose credibility in the industry. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yep. Yep. Make sure it's something that you're already currently familiar with, something you're already using, and, and a company that you, you know, you believe in. Hundred percent. Yeah, and, and again, like we said, if you're going to enter it, understand what each of you want out of the uh, out of the adventure. You know, it's got to be equal expectations, and this way, there's no surprises. Yeah. George, where did you get that picture in the back behind you? 
That's um, my pocket. That's, my pocket that's, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank you. Your office outside over there. Yeah, we're we're all, actually we are out of times here, so I want to oh, wrap man. things up with you guys. Thank you guys so much. I mean, you're welcome to stay and watch the rest of the show. Uh, we got a couple more segments to hit here before we wrap things up for the night. But again, awesome. I really appreciate. I mean, two, two, what two That's better that. people to have on to yeah. talk about this? Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. You, I appreciate it. Steve, Steve you're the man. Good to see you guys. Yep. Yeah, we'll you we'll guys be out too. fishing. I hope so. Yeah, we'll be doing it soon, guys. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you, George. All right, buddy. Thanks, Talk guys. soon. Thank you. All right. That was good stuff, man. I really Definitely. love that. Yep. Yeah. But one of the things we get into now, um, <laughs> try to digest all that. Let's let's talk a little bit about this week's trophy board and let's see who's uh let's see. Let's see who's got and catching what. Well, we actually got my niece, Christina Shower. She was up here on the Finger Lakes up in New York. And uh, she and the boats of the folks on her boat got into a whole mess of Lakers. Oh, the Lake I, I know the Lakers. I, I miss catching them up in Lake Ontario. They're they're just, a special place in my heart. Absolutely. So I might have to book another trip up the, to New York to get into some of those Lakers. Also, Patrick Carey. Um, I don't know Pat's online here. Yeah, Pat was up in Wallen Palm Pack, and he was getting into some of these really nice pike. And one of the things he did get was he got into a pike pickerel hybrid that's incredible yeah i know he's working with the uh, pennsylvania fishing boat on that because that's kind of a rare thing so they're very trying, rare they're oh, trying yeah. to validate that but what a score man i mean that's beautiful cool. fish and, and even get something you don't catch every day that, yeah, that's, that's really cool really awesome good friend matt cavallari out there on the susquehanna nailing smallmouth this is the time of year man get out on them they are great good job matt our good friend Jim Hutchinson Jr. out there. Uh, this is, an, I think, it was up in the Raritan catching some big old stripers. Now, this is one they're doing part of their tagging satellite tagging program. This big old cow, they put a satellite tag in and let that thing go. So they're going to track that thing as it goes through the season, uh, and that's part of the whole process to understand the striped bass migration, how they can better preserve that. It's a nice fish. It was a nice fish. Also, T.J. Zellers uh, out there on some of the, uh, I think this was Beltsville, getting us some nice bass from the kayak. So great time of year Absolutely. to get some of those bass up there on the shallows. And wrapping things up, we got good friend Justin Lerner out on the Passaic, nailing some monster pike. And that is a giant pike anyway. I, I don't, I, I didn't ever caught him that big up on a thousand islands. Yeah, I mean that's, I mean the Passaic is a fantastic river for pike, and that's a huge one. Well, the Justin's a man. This guy knows how to catch those big ones. So good job, Justin. And that's going to wrap up this week's trophy board. And you know what that means going to bring up our trivia giveaway so let's see according to a recent study an average angler spends about how much on fishing gear each year now this week's prize and i'm going to whoever gives me the first right answer is going to get one of these really cool tony maja face buffs now this is the high performance stuff this isn't little cotton this is a high performance uh, material uh, it's got the uh, SPF, I think, 50 in it to give you lots of good protection from the sun when you're out fishing. Tony Maja face buff, the first person that gives me the right answer to this question. How much do they spend average uh, on a, a year on fishing? 627, 1,261, or 12, 2,188 in per a year. year? In a year. First person wins it. How you doing, Sean? Thanks for dialing in. 800? Nope, not quite. Pick one of these numbers, buddy. 627, 1261, or 2188? We got Vanna White Taylor <laughs> over here. Steve Kolnick. Woo-hoo! Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's Sean. Pa I can't pronounce your last name, Sean. I'm sorry. You were the first one to give the wow, beat him by seconds. I know. It's. I feel sorry for Stevie. We may have to give Stevie a consolation prize, but yeah, uh, we'll figure something. We'll out figure for something him. out for Stevie. But yeah, Sean, thank you very much. You are correct. At 1,261 is the average that they they say the anglers spend. And I'll get a hold of you and tell me where to send out this great little prize. So I want to thank you guys all for playing. But that comes to the end of the show. What do you think, Josh? It's a great show. It a lot of good insight show. from a lot of great people. Oh, uh, you know. I, I can't thank them guys enough. And, you know, Anthony Arcabasio, 
Tony Maja Jr., you guys know him as. Also, Steve Miser, Rutten River Pursuits. What a great podcast. Every one of them is just a great outdoorsman. Right. I was going to say angler, but them guys do everything. So much more. Yeah. Yeah, they do everything. So just remember, keep sending us those picks. You can reach out to me. Email me at PoconoGeorge at Outlook.com. You can also send me a message on Facebook. Drop me a comment on uh, on YouTube. Always around. Love to hear from you. And I'll tell you what, we'll catch you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. See ya. See ya.